Hi everyone, it's Vicky here with a couple of clean and simple holiday cards today. I will be showcasing products from the latest release by my favorite things and I have already created one uh, using these products which uh, I am going to show you here and I will link to it at the end of this video. Now since I am going to showcase products from my favorite things I need to let you all know that they already started their Black Friday sale and they have an amazing sale make sure to visit my blog you will find there a coupon code the sale does not apply on the latest release but there are so many different uh, products that you can get so I'm going to show you just a few ideas of products that I use every day and I think they are great to invest, especially on a Black Friday sale. So this is a set of uh, rectangles, they have a lovely stitching all around and I use them pretty much in every card to create my panels. I also love banner dies, so you can see I have some straight ones, I have some with stitching all around, I do have some with uh, fish tails. You definitely don't need as many as I do, but a set to cut out sentiments is a great idea. Another die set that I absolutely love are those speech bubbles that come in three different sizes, so you can stamp different uh, size of uh, sentiments. And I also love the hit the slopes, because they give you those curved lines that you can cut out to create hills as well as snow banks. And here are a few more that I always keep next to my die cutting machine so I can easily grab them since I use them again and again. So just my two cents here on a Black Friday sale, especially that big, like 35% and more, it's a great idea to grab things that you will be using again and again like tools, scissors or a Versa marking, some embossing powder or definitely inks that you might need for your stash. So I would stay away from the latest and greatest and I would invest on products that I would be using throughout the year. So let's start with the cards today. This is the Snowflake Window die set and uh, it comes with two dies. The one that gives you the snowflake design and another one that cuts out all around it. I am going to use only the snowflake design for today and I will also use one of my rectangle dies that give that stitching that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to place one inside the other and I'm going to cut out a panel out of this white cardstock. I'm running it through my Big Shot machine and just because this design is very intricate it's a great idea to use that metal shim. And I always like to check at the back if uh, this has cut out perfectly before I remove the purple tapes that keep all the dies together. Now I'm going to separate everything and pop out those little pieces from inside my design, being very careful since it is a very intricate design. So here I end up with a beautiful panel, a window panel, and it would make a great shaker card. But for this card I will go just for a window card, so I'm going to make sure that whatever you see through that window is covered with double-sided tape. I'm going to peel off the packing and now on top I'm going to apply very fine glitter. This is a product by Nouveau and it's called uh, Sparkle Dust. It's a beautiful blue color and um, I'm going to cover up completely that sticky area. Now the good thing about using very fine glitter is that it sticks nicely on top of uh, that um, tape and it's not going to move on you. On top of that, this is going to be a background behind that window, so no matter what you do, it's not going to stick on your fingers or the fingers of the recipient. Now, if you go over it with your bone folder, it's going to make sure that everything is nicely stuck there, just tap off the excess, and you can also go directly with your bone folder, this is going to make it look even more shiny. I'm going to tap off the excess, and now the glitter is nicely stuck there. One extra step that you might want to do is to run it through a die cutting machine. All that pressure is going to make sure that glitter, the glitter is going to stay put. Now all I'm doing is adding some foam tape around my window panel and then I'm going to stick it on top of my card base. Of course this would make a beautiful shaker card but I'm saving that for the second card. Both the cards today are using window panels on top of your card base with glitter at the back. Same idea, different execution. So here at the center it's not very good supported, if you want to support it even more you can always add some acetate at the back, but I'm going to leave it as it is. Now all I need to do is to add my sentiment 
And for that I used my favorite banners that you saw in the beginning, one inside the other. The blue one is actually uh, covered with glitter just like I did with the background. And for the white one I just stamped my sentiment and stick it on top. And my clean and simple card is ready. And this is really easy to mass produce, especially if instead of uh, sparkle dust at the background you just use glitter paper. Now moving on to the second card, again I'm going to use one of my stitched rectangle dies and on the inside I'm going to use another die from the latest release. This is called Christmas tree window and it comes with two dies, the Christmas tree as well as a little star. And just like I did for the first card I'm going to follow the exact same techniques but this time I'm going to create a shaker card. So I have this panel ready to go. To embellish my tree I decided to cut out the same die using gold cardstock and now with my scissors I'm going to go all around it and cut out a little frame so this way I can place the frame on top of my card and make it a little bit shiny. Now the easiest way that I found to create this is if you put the die on top of your die cut and then just follow the outline with your scissors. So here is my little frame ready to go. Now I can put some white glue at the back and then stick it in place. The glue I keep on using is Nouveau Deluxe. I absolutely love this uh, glue because it has a very fine tip, it doesn't clog and it also grabs really quickly. Now I'm also going to add a dot of uh, white glue at the top of my tree and stick there the golden uh, star that I have die cut. Now it's time to stamp the sentiment at this stage before I turn it into a shaker card. For that I'm going with uh, Merry Christmas from a beautiful handwritten uh, stamp set which is called Hand Lettered Holiday Greetings. And this is from the previous release by My Favorite Things which means that it's on sale. Now I'm going to stamp that with Versamark ink and then apply gold embossing powder, heat set everything and so you can see now how beautiful it matches with the border of my tree. Now I'm working at the back of my window panel and I'm going all around that uh, cutout window and adding some double sided tape. I'm going to peel off the backing and then on top I'm going to stick my acetate. Then I went all around the edges to add my foam tape. I also created this piece of cardstock using uh, the technique that I did for the first card with the sparkle uh, dust. And this is going to go at the back of my window. Now you can leave it as it is, just like I did with the first card. But just for the fun of it, for this card I'm going to add some sequins inside and turn it into a shaker card. So now I'm going to add some of those and I don't want to overdo it. I just want a few of them moving all around since I have that sparkle at the background. I'm going to peel off the backing, stick that uh, little piece there making sure that uh, it is nicely stuck and that uh, nothing is going to go outside and fly away of the window. And then I'm going to place that on top of my card base. And here is my finished card and some close-up photos. Make sure to visit my blog and grab the MFT sale coupon code. And I have also put together a blog post where I share even more early Black Friday sales on uh, mainly the products that I absolutely love and use on my videos. And these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and you got inspired, thank you all so much for visiting today and I'll see you all next time.